this shit a weird ass feeling. Like this shit all new to me. Like this shit crazy. Like I don't know. I don't know. This shit crazy. Like I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. Like I came, I came from this school and this shit, so it's 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 weird. Like they they looking at a nigga like like a nigga famous or something. Like that shit crazy. I was looking at the thugs Mama told me I ain't wanna listen Papa tripping, only wanted a better position I got niggas slinging now for their neighborhood Different colors, different sets, nigga, different hoods, ayy This was actually the first house my parents, uh, my parents lived in when they came from the Philippines, and I was I was like a I was like a little ass kid. Like this this is where I, like like till I was three or four years old that I moved. Then we moved out, but we we, we stayed here with like uh, with two other families and shit. We was all family though, but yeah, we was fresh from the Philippines. I, I think there was another family here that was fresh from the Philippines, and we all lived and we all stayed right here. It's, it's a, a little three bedroom house. Yeah, this is this is where. You feel me? Where they first came when they came to uh, America and shit, where they first lived at. Like if y'all, like if y'all know how Filipino parents is, like you know, like, like you feel me? They, they all got one goal. They just want their kids to, you feel me, do good in school and, like the cliche be an RN or nurse type shit. You feel me? But, but, you grew up, you grow up with your environment. They, they just wanted the best for me and shit, wanted me to do good in school. And like I said, I, I did like try to do good in school and shit just cause like, like you feel me, arrogant nigga be in class hella loud and shit. Like I was just mind my own business. I didn't really fuck with people like that. So I'd be in class, pop my headphones in either. If I wasn't sleeping, then I'd fuck around and at least try to do the work and shit. And that's, that's just how that came about. I keep that thing up on the low, yeah. I get them lit up if it's smoke, yeah. Oh if you want it, yeah, we can go, yeah. Hey, what's up with you? Hey. High school is that pivotal point for everybody, but like my moms and shit, my moms and pops, like they really pushed this school shit for me, like tough. And like I said, like, like I want no dumb nigga, like you feel me? Niggas make mistakes and shit, but like I try my best to try to keep my, you feel me, my grades up just to keep my, uh, keep my mom and pops happy, you feel me? Like out of all my classes, like my English class, I'll get it. I'll get an A in English. Like you feel me? Like I'll have I'll have A's in English. Like I'll go I'll go through English class with a breeze and shit. I'll have like I ain't gonna lie, I have straight F's and shit, but like I'll have an A in English and shit, like like you feel me? So yeah, it most definitely affects how I rap. Hey, do you really fuck with me? Like how you say you do when I was down up on my dick when nobody was pulling through. I don't diss up on no songs, lead a funk up out the booth. Feel like this shit is tug of war and the ends is getting loose. I keep to myself and just do my thing. And when I leave school, I leave school, do my own shit. But, and it coming back now and now niggas, like everybody, like you feel me taking pics and shit coming up to me, that shit crazy. Like, yo, your parents will try to shield you from shit, but like, you feel me? Niggas gonna get out, get off the porch, and like do start doing their own thing. Start make friends around the corner, make friends around the block, around the neighborhood and shit. And you gonna just you start discovering shit yourself, and that's when that's really you just start paving your own path. You feel me? I swear to God, I can't lose. I done made it this far. There's too many things just for me to fall. I swear to God, I can't lose. Only one thing on my mind. If you ain't talking nice, don't waste my time. I swear to God, I can't lose. It's just. Your environment, like you be just the niggas you be around, the people you be around, it kind of shapes you to be the person you are. Like, I was, I was just all grew up all around crips and shit. Like them gangs ain't really active like that no more. Like the ones that my that my family was in, that's that's the reason why niggas wanted to, uh, and niggas kind of just followed their footsteps. And at, at at that time, I was in the mindset like, yeah, I want like bring this shit back. Like you know what I'm saying? What was it that made you feel like, yeah, I want to bring this? It was, shit back. it was. One, it was like, man, they got all the, you feel me, the fly gear, like the shoes, and they, they'll, they'll have flex money in front of me, they'll throw me doves, like they'll throw money to me, like, or even they bring bitches and shit to like the family parts and shit, like, uh, so I was just looking up to that and shit. Brody sitting for a minute, sitting kites back, one whip, two niggas, bitch, that's two straps, caught you loafing up in traffic, I swear, I swear to God, I back. can't lose, I done made it this far, risk too many things just for me to I swear fall, to God, I can't lose. 
Hamilton. Rows and rows of slot machines found inside a Stockton home now sit in front of an evident storage unit at the Stockton Police Department. That's where they say they found 38-year-old Benedy Carolino with a loaded gun, a loaded magazine, an assault rifle, and one and a half pounds of meth. But they didn't expect to find a makeshift casino. This used to be the uh, the uh, trap house. I don't know y'all if y'all know TC Low. Uh, he he, my nigga who be rapping too. Shout out my nigga TC Low. This, this this used to be his pops trap house and shit. He used to run the, uh, his own makeshift uh, casino in this motherfucker. Like he'll have slot machines, like ten slot machines and hella shit. And he got caught with like uh like fifty bands of cash, like meth, coke. Got caught with a Kata, pistols, guns, and then they took, they, they, when they raided it, found all the casino shits, all the, you feel me, all the machines and shit, and went down for it, hella felonies and shit. But yeah, this was a little trap. Like, I ain't got no, like, like real, like, like, plan other than just keep maybe moving it forward, see how far it take me. I'm trying to just build this into a brand. I'm trying to be at a point where all my niggas, like, everybody on my team ain't just an entourage, like, everybody on the team, like, you feel me, doing something, like, whether it be some, one of my niggas handling the clothes or another nigga handling, like, you feel me, being a DJ. Like, I'm trying to put it to that point where we all doing something so we all can eat, you feel me? Like, really, the main goal is just, you feel me, make money and, and buy a crib and, you feel me, just live off this. But as of right now, I'm just seeing how far this, this will take me. I'm just keep move, moving forward from there. You were supposed to be my nigga All the times I had your back But now you fucking with them niggas You were supposed to be my nigga All the guns I let you have But same ones you Remember used to back when me. we was gang gang And we was ganging in that gangway Every time my niggas was homeless I gave a place to stay And they say Never bite the hand that feed you Man, these niggas on the grave Forget to act like My nigga don't pulled up you. in the stolo Hopped up in it Got to doing some drill The same niggas say Yo, bro, telling the judge all the deal And niggas start to squealing, pointing fingers, saying